the disease that we have is unfortunately gradually growing. It's a cancer the Muslim Ummah has, the exclusion. We talk about things that we're not even supposed to think about, let alone talking. What I mean is a direct in the past couple of months, not a couple of months, maybe weeks, I came across a Muslim person in the Muslim community, in the Muslim gathering, among the Muslim, talking to the Muslim, representing the Muslim, and part of the committee that serves the interfaith Muslims, and the person mentioned, of so-and-so, who comes to Masjid, participates in Masjid, prays in the Masjid, and participate in Muslim activities in the community, his aqais are not good. So let me say it again. A Muslim, born and grew up in Muslim family, raised in Muslim family, and part of the country that is predominantly Muslim, and here in America, a practicing Muslim comes to the masjid, pray Eden and regular Salat, even Tarawi I have seen the person in the masjid, and other Muslim who are representing the Islam in the community as an interfaith community member, says, oh, that person's affairs are not good. Brother and sister, this is something that is dangerous. This is a cancer. This is the disease that we have to be careful because we cannot play God. Only Allah knows what the person heart has. And that's something, oh brother, we have to worry about Aqeedah. If Aqeedah is not correct, the Salat is part of the Imam is part of the entire fiqh is there. Allah, but fine, chill out, we'll talk about it. But the fiqh is the interpretation of Quran. May Allah bless those scholars, those who have compiled the fiqh for us. But the fiqh is a jurisprudence law driven from the Qur'an, from the Sunnah. But the binding authority for the Muslim in the world, those who say, Ashhadu la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu la Muhammad and Abduhu wa Rasuluh, and also the Fuqha, Allah bless them, is the Qur'an is the binding authority. The Hadith, life of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is binding authority. Ijma, Qiyas, then comes Ijtihad, then come Murasla, then come Ihtisan, then comes the interpretation, then come the scholars, then comes the lawyers, then comes the Sharia, then comes the Qazi. Yes, those things are there to interpret. But the binding, the ultimate binding is the Quran. Wa atasimu bihablillahi jamiyu wa la tafarraku. So this is something that first you start from up, and then come down and down. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Al yawm akmatu lakum deenukum, in Surah Maida, verse number three, two or three in uh, uh, Surah number five, today I have completed the deen, and Allah is saying to his Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, trust me, deen is complete. You and I need to go back. So when it comes to the deen, anything in life, have new. New house, no problem. New spouse, no problem. New car, no problem. Do anything perfect, but when it comes to the deen, look for always the old source. That's the best source, that's the best thing. 1400 years ago, the book was not dropped from sky, it came with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alive. There was a book and there was a practical man, and his seerah laqad kaana lakum fi rasulullahi uswatul hasana. Fi rasulullahi uswatul hasana. So his life is there with the book, it was not, it was not just given to us. So look at the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How did he interpret the Qur'an? How did he live in the Qur'an? And guess what? He's the best person, best human being among Muslims. That's what our belief is, isn't it? Ashadu wa la ilaha illallah. Wa ashadu wa anna Muhammad an abdu wa rasulu. If you don't have a second part, you're not a Muslim. So brother, aqaid, we have to focus. Yes, I have seen books, uh, hundreds of thousands of pages of books on aqaid. Great, that's me for that time. My plea to all Muslims, give me a book today that I can take and give it to next door Jewish or atheist or agnostic and say, listen brother, this is the way, read this book. They're asking me, what should I do? Oh brother, don't touch this book. Brother, this is Veda. Oh brother, no, this is Haram. Brother, oh, astaghfirullah. Have you read this book? How's it? Wait a second. Give me something. I'm living in the country that is based on literacy. They read, they write, they want a book. Give it to me. They will finish the whole book in a train. You won't finish in a month. But they want something about Islam. Tell me which one I give. Brother, give them Quran. But no, so they shouldn't touch it. How are you going to give da'wah? How are you going to give da'wah? Oh, brother, his aqaid is bad. His aqaid is bad. Wait a second. What aqaid mean? 
Believe in what? Let me tell you in Surah Baqarah, Surah number 2, verse 62, 262, and Surah Maida, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about Yahud and Nasara. Yahud and Nasara and Saviors. So Ummahatul Aqaids are three. Listen carefully, it's going to offend many people, but I'm here to answer based on Quran and Sunnah and my understanding. I'm not a scholar of Islam, I'm a student of Islam. But let me tell you something that's more important today is to unite Ummah. That's the first thing we need to do. So Ummahat al is are three. The mother of the believers are three. For Muslim, Islam did not start with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It started with Adam Alayhi Salam. So the Ummahat al the Adam preached and Muhammad being the last messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So there are so many messengers and every single one of them is Muslim. That's what we say, the word used Muslims in Quran about Ibrahim alayhi salam. He picked the word, the Muslim, Allah chose for Muslim. Those who submit and surrender their will to will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I give my best shot, whatever happens up to Allah. Qaddar Allah. So three aqidahs, three aqaiz, the mahatul aqaiz. Iman billah, iman bil rusul, iman bil akhirah. Let me say that. You believe in Allah, the unity of God, one God, that's it. Beyond my comprehension, no father, son, nothing. I don't know, I can't imagine. Is Rahman, is Rahim, is Qahar, is Jabbar, is Qabbar. I don't know. If I can't imagine, that's not God. It's beyond my imagination. It was there, it always will be there. Zahir Batan is there. One God, that is the belief. Very the foundation of Islam. Number two, Iman bin Rusul. Allah sent so many messengers, but Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the last one. Done. La nafarribu bayna We don't distinguish among them. Period. Surah Baqarah, Surah number 2, verse 284. The last thing, one day I'm going to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That what the messenger said, be prepared. That's why the ayat in the Quran you read, they say, Wallah bi ma ta'amaruna, Wallah bi seer, Wallah bi ma khabir. You finish the ayat, say, Allah is watching, Allah knows what you're doing, Wallah alima bin zaqa sudur, Allah knows what's in your heart. Which means, hey, what you do, you might get a good credit in this dunya, you might be Shaykh Alama, mashallah, but Allah knows what's in your heart. Allah knows what you're doing. So therefore, you are prepared to meet Him. So these are the three aqaids for every single Muslim on the planet who says, Ashadu la ilaha illallah, Ashadu anna Muhammad an abduhu wa rasoolu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah is one, Muhammad is the last messenger, and one day I'm going to face Allah individually, my own responsibility. Walakad jaytumuna farada. You're going to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala individually. That's what the iman, that's what the aqaids are, brother and sister. So please, whoever has these three, Meet them, greet them, and bring them. And yes, if you want to go further, and you say, yes, brother, they read the Kitab al Tawheed, they have it in Imam bin uh, Malaika, Imam bin Khadr, uh, fine, perfect, keep on going. But if you are a physician, oncologist, and you know the person is going to die with the cancer, and the chart is right in front of you, and this patient is waiting for you, say, no, I'm not going to go inside, no, 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 no. I know he has cancer, let him die. If somebody you think, first of all, you shouldn't be judging people's aqaid because it's something in the heart. If they believe in these three things, khalas. Those two ayat about the Yahud and Nasara, Allah says, if you believe in those three, you have no issues on the day of judgment. Oh brother, those ayat were for that time. No, 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 Quran is forever. Quran is forever. This is a basic message. If you believe in those three things, the rest will fit in. The moment you say, oh, you accept your wife and so so much glory? Yes. You accept it? Yes. You accept it? Yes. You accept it? Yes. Naka, akdam. Well, I never promise I'm going to have a same car for her. I never promise I'm going to have a house for her. I never promise that I'm going to provide her. No, 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 no. This is a part of the deal. It's a part of the package. The moment you say, I accept, the whole thing comes in. The moment you say, Ashadu la ilaha illallah, Ashadu la Muhammad al Abdu wa Rasulu, the whole thing comes in. Everything fits in. If you believe in Muhammad, how do you know Muhammad is right? Because I have a miracle of his. His Quran is here. How do you know Quran is right? Because Jibreel came. How do you know Jibreel came? Because you should. So all this fits in. But the foundation to open the door is just basic three. Once you have those three, they individually keep you track. They keep the Ummah together. And that's something we all need to focus. Unfortunately, we go off that. And said, so, this is haram, this is bidah, this is kufr, that brother doesn't have good aqaid, we should sit in, a, in the, in the uh, society of the bidah and the people of the bidah. Wait a second, we should sit among Mufar, 
No, 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 no. Wait a second. You shouldn't sit where the liquor is sold. You shouldn't get involved when things are going happening that you don't know what you're going to do. But other than that, see you, Philan, get involved. You are an uh, oncologist and you see the person who die with the cancer, you jump in and save them. You see something wrong happening, you jump in and save them. There's authentic hadith in Muslim, narrated. If you see something bad, you stop with your hand, with your capacity. If you can't, you feel bad. So if you see somebody doesn't have good account, or somebody's not doing good, help them, assist them. Nobody's perfect. But no brother, no, I'm not going to ask for that. Uh, no brother, you should read only this scholar and only this scholar. Allah Akbar, whichever scholar you follow between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my matter is between me and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But my question to you is, many of you are here at least college graduate. Tell me which professor that you learned botany, chemistry, physics, who was a graduate from Al-Azhar, who was a graduate from Medina University, who was a graduate from Pakistan University. Uh, none. So when it comes to dunya, your bidah is off. When it comes to dunya, you know, you know Malna Gate and hang out with the professor and go to there. But when it comes to deen, you don't want to interact with them. Why not? Where was Islam? In the Makkah, everybody was Muslim. What happened in India? If the people just make their own pocket and get to and say, no, no, we're Muslim, just going to have this is our part, this is our masjid, this is our hospital, that's it. We're not going to talk to anybody else. There wouldn't be Islam in India. My ancestor wouldn't be Muslim. There wouldn't be Islam in Europe. They wouldn't have Islam anywhere outside Makkah. Because Muslim went out there, the Sahaba went out there, and when they opened the hospital, when they opened the college, when they opened the university, when they opened any institution, they didn't say, Islamic so-and-so. This is a new concept to make a state to read the kalma. Islamic state of Pakistan, Islamic state of Egypt. No, it's a Medina to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If the Muslim live there, it is going to be Islamic. So focus individual respect, individual integrity. If you are a Muslim, you're honest, you're punctual, you respect each other, you respect. It is going to be by default Islamic state. But we make the state to read the kalma and take shahada, but we just, you know, the scholar I was hearing said, we want to be, have Allah's mercy like battle of Badr. But we want to have Abu Bakr's life and era and Umar, but we still want to act like Abu Jahan. We're right, I'm right, I don't know. This is my society, it's my community. I came here 30 years ago. Youngster, you just came here yesterday, you don't know. I've been here 40 years ago. <sighs> his, his name was what? Hakim. He had hikmah, he had wisdom. But he was Jahal, Abu Jahal, the father of the Jahala, the father of ignorance. Why? I know, I know, I, I know the community. No, you don't. The community is the entire world. The community starts with your own self. You're part of the community. You have the sister sitting here, her son died, the community is going to get involved. The one who passed away, passed away, but we are here involved. So once you are part of this community, when you're here, you are involved, for God's sake. So when you're alive, you're making choices for your dunya, you don't care. You learn from professor, the atheist agnostic doesn't matter. When it comes to deen, you don't want to shake hand with the kafir. You don't want to shake hand with the atheist. You say, even your own Muslim say, he's a kaiser, not good. He's going to go to Jahannam. He says, Allahu Akbar, watch out. And that's something that's very drastic and I plead to you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, stop it. And I humbly request, if anybody has something to say, ask for Allah for forgiveness, at least don't say it in front of me, because if Sunnah of Nabi I'm going to try to stop you. Let me give you an example from Quran. During time of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Arabs, go there now, what dress they wear, the thobe, hebaya, what do you call it, right? At that time, they didn't know, Muslims didn't know who is Muslim who is not, because they have same dress, same clothes, same food unless they eat meat, same language, same culture, some of them are married in and out, so you don't know who is Muslim or is not. This is also another issue. I'm giving khutbah without today, so I want to see how many comments are going to come. I want to, because this is not part of deen. Allah made deen so simple. Allah made deen so simple. Allah said, you cover from here to here. Our deen is very simple. So at that time, give me a single example from life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he told any sahabi, oh, you want to get shahada, go home, change your clothes and come back. Did he? Never. So which means the dress code doesn't mean much. What means is your heart. Inna min 
Taqwa how or not? It's here. The thing that you don't even know, Allah wants to test that. But we take it out and we say, you are going to Jahannam, you go to Jahannam, Allah Akbar. The thing that Allah wanted was so hidden. We made a big deal. And we have member, we have the leaders of country, we are all mashu, we're pitching against each other. The things that Allah want that nobody else need to know. So let me tell you an example from Nabi Sallallahu life. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sent a Sahaba companion to say, go out to this town and there's some issues and then fighting happening and there is a resentment of our Muslims and you five, ten people, Sahabi, companion of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one of the biggest things they're going to do, they're going to sacrifice their life. The one of the biggest book for Muslims is the Quran. One of the biggest personality for Muslims is Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One of the best companion, companion of Sahaba, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Sahaba. The best example documented forever to be protected anywhere in Muslim culture is the Quran. Inna nakhlu nazzal mazikra wa inna lahu la hafizun. So Allah used best person, best companion, best time, best book, best action you do is give up your life path of Allah. Now let's talk about 